Folks, Sunday afternoon, that means the tri-generational campaign of Margu. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you here. If this is your first time, hang on, because it's going to get a little bit weird today. Uh, these guys know exactly what they're doing, or so they think. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you uh, want to uh no scratch that uh if you want to buy our crap like this cool shirt it's down there if you want to just shoot the shit about D, &D join our discord uh most importantly if you want a seat on one of our one shots or on the tuesday talk show m hobo inc twitter gmail uh we'll get you hooked up this upcoming week is a little bit sketchy uh like i said this is the margu campaign and i will go ahead and explain what these guys are doing here in just a few minutes but first let's introduce you to the crew that's going to entertain you for the next two hours uh first up is jason jason who are you and who are you playing i am playing a recently uh hairless gnome named <laughs> copious full bitters the third uh, a well-known and famous adventurer, um, very manly in his approach to life, obviously, even without the hair. Small problem with his... Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Small problem with your ego? Your ego has never been defined as small. Uh, next up is uh, the elder member, the elder statesman, uh, Frank Sr. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Frank Sr., and I'm playing Leaf, the only sane member of this party, Druid. <laughs> and we happen to know that the smallest problem that uh, Cue Ball over there has got, we all saw when he stood up out of that bath he was in. Thank God he had the carrot hiding anything of yep. relevance. <laughs> Uh, next up is the youngest member of our group, uh, Frank the 11th. Which one are you? Yeah, it might as well be. <laughs> I am Man Fang, a dragonborn fighter who is a diplomat and very tired. Oh, you're going to do great today. Yeah. Uh, last but certainly not least, just go ahead and deal with him because he thinks he doesn't have some kind of disease but he does uh aj who are you who are you playing i'm aj and i am playing felix the last the real last same party member i am completely disease free i don't know what she told you i got test all my buddies got tested everybody got tested it's the greatest hmm. Uh, never mind. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that, uh, folks. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice uh, makes custom dice. Uh, check them out on Twitter, and of course, OddFishGames.com. Uh, if your game stinks, uh, get a little adventure sense. Make that thing smell better. Don't forget, one week from today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, how to RPG with your cat. Totally free, but you do have to sign up. Uh, check our Twitter page for that link uh okay last week uh these guys ran into a little bit of trouble they are certainly 100 percent no question about it in the magnificent seven scenario they are trying to save the tabaxi village of dimbo or i'm sorry the tortle village of dimbo point uh these guys have already been to the tabaxi homeland and yeah, had a little problem in the ruins uh but did manage to escape in a borrowed turtle warship uh that they had a little mm. bit of trouble steering but made it to the turtle homeland and in this small cove found this small thorpe with a big problem of croaking pirates tabaxi raiders uh these guys are really short on supplies but fortunately robert of zeppelin was able to get a great deal for them a uh, fantastic deal really best deal ever uh, all they had to do was deal with the croken pirates easy peasy uh last week they did manage to go ahead and take out four croken scouts uh, however, the general consensus is just like that great Western, a.k.a. that great uh, Oriental movie about the samurai, 
there's going to be a bigger problem here. These guys know it. They're 100% certain. Uh, and they have decided to uh, hit the highway, get out of Dodge, uh, rolling the ball. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they don't have all of their supplies just quite yet. Uh, so they have to stay one more night, which I'm sure will not have any issues. Uh, as Copius has pointed out, uh, he didn't tell you that he had a cursed ring on, and that is what led him to become the hairless Copius V bitters in the soup bath of uh, Gato's Bane, the local shaman. Uh, gentlemen, you have successfully fought off the four tabaxi raiders. You have unsuccessfully remembered or determined how to get back to your ship, which you sent away. Uh, no one really knows what direction they went, uh, but it is currently Haggis Crapstain piloting with two halflings, a tabaxi drug lord, and two turtles. What could possibly go wrong with that combination? Nothing. I say nothing. Uh, gentlemen, it is the evening hour. How are we going to do this? Uh, Robert has pointed out he does not have the supplies and kind of can't get a hold of them till the morning. What would you guys like to do? Um, and again, the supplies that are already gathered essentially equals the tribute for the pirates and the raiders when they come. Is that correct? That is correct. So I'm going to suggest to the two things to our, our crew right off the bat. The first off is if that's the tribute, the chances of them coming down the jungle path probably is low at this point, probably come ashore to get the tribute, right? Cause there's no way they're hauling the tribute back through the jungle unless they have a whole bunch of crew as uh, pack bearers. So two things we could think through here. Um, one is we post a sentry out on the beach to let us know when they're coming and we try to set up a trap on the beach. We still have some of that very flammable uh, spirit that uh, left. Did we use it all? Used it all on uh, your I trap. We some. Oh, I thought we saved one of them. <laughs> so uh, the other. I thought item we is, saved some too. I was going to say that's the drinking. You know, you know what? I, I stand corrected. We you used one on a trap. One on the trap, and uh, Felix, uh, connoisseur of beverages, uh, has held one back for his own yes, consumption. I, I mean, the parties. Consumption. It's definitely in the best interest of the party. Mm -hmm. Subconsciously, he's hoping it'll burn whatever that is in him out of him. <laughs> well, I'm sure he's got a lot of burning. Yeah, There's it probably burns in a special out. place. Well, what if we think this through and rather than trying to fight these raiders, what if we poison the supplies that they're coming to get? <laughs> we, There's a thought. Yeah. What do we poison them with? Oh, I have more than <laughs> one, one thing. Oh, okay. Uh, that ain't sounds like that, a plan. <laughs> here's the problem with poisoning it is if we poison the supplies, what if they don't eat the supplies while they're here? Well, I don't think they will, but no. eventually they're going to take them away. Otherwise, why, why would they come for them, right? The best yeah, thing to poison true. would be the fresh water, I would think. Didn't you say there was casts of fresh water in those supplies? Which you are sadly lacking. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, we would lose out if we were to fight and defeat the raiders. We would lose out on the supplies that we poisoned, but... Or alternatively, we instead of a, a straight up poison, these are tabaxi raiders. Is there any way to use our, uh, our what little supply we have on our person of wacky tabacky? Uh, a knock that, on the door is heard. Uh oh. <laughs> Come in. Uh, it is Taggart the uh total spokesman the elder of the tribe uh and one of the few that can speak common uh he asks will you be coming to the celebration this evening we are all anxious to see you what yeah uh, i'll huh? say uh all all but one of us we we want to make sure that there's no further trouble and that no one um escaped our trap 
no, Great. not a problem. Not a problem. We uh, we are just anxious to uh, hear from the heroes. Well, if that's the case, <laughs> all right. Uh, <clears throat> Copious, he, he uh, straightens himself up and slicks back his dome. Pulls out some turtle wax. Right. Nothing buffs that, buffs that thing up like a bowling Buff, ball. Buffs it up until there's a gleam in that sucker. Uh, it says, I will be there straight away to describe our exploits. Outstanding. We look forward to that. He shuts the door and leaves. All right. So we're gonna later, post the watch on the beach. Moments later, another knock on the door. <laughs> Is it? <clears throat> it's egg. What do you want, egg? Uh, Goomba Malumba. We don't need any fresh towels. We're here. <laughs> I'm so glad <laughs> for you. Uh, Goomba Malumba. Man Fang, can you translate? Uh, I can translate. I'm just going to I'm going to translate, but I'm just going to open the door. Don't, I'm uh, not going to grab that. I'm just going to say, okay, I know what they're saying. Open the door and then tell them, these are my friends. Wait, no, no, stop. I'm done talking for a second. Wait, give me a second. Mr. Uh, Diplomacy. Uh, Egg, whom uh, I suspect of so being dumb. a uh, spy, uh, looks a little bit harried, and he points. Is he pointing at the diplomat? He's pointing towards the bay. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's walk out to the bay and see if there's sails on the horizon. I will go with him. I okay. as well. Uh, you go out and you get to the uh, dock, the small dock. If for egg cannot speak common, I will take uh, perception checks by everybody. Uh, I didn't go. I, I never knew. I didn't go to the bay. I'm going to a party. Oh, okay. Uh, Kobe oh, has an appointment. Oh, and, yes, and, and, and a round of applause is uh, given out, even though Robert Zeppelin's there. 23. 13. <laughs> oh, it's plus four. Uh, that's 11. Uh, only Leaf the Druid notices that it is a beautiful night and there is a single cask floating at the mouth of the bay uh man fang felix you notice that it is a beautiful night the moon is high in the sky and there's just a nice warm breeze uh copious upon your entrance uh accolades fall upon you making robert of zeppelin groan audibly uh and taggart along with nomi uh point out that the group is eager to hear your account of your tales of daring do in which Robert was not a part of. I will cast a uh, elfish presence, uh, fey presence on myself for my charm bonus, and then regale them with the account of the, 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 uh, valiant stand of the four heroes in the, the, uh, jungle. I'm going to need two performance rolls. One is for you. The second is Nomi's ability to translate it accurately. <laughs> Not so good. For um, you or her? Well, well, let's say, put it this way. I rolled a nine and an eight. So she got it right. <laughs> but uh, So I would have had, let's say, mine was 13 with my bonus, and then she had eight. Uh, and I don't know if that's the, do I add my bonus to her or not? Nope. So she, she would have gotten eight and I had a 13 or vice versa, 12 and nine. Very good. Uh, uh, the crowd of victory. victory! <laughs> uh, going in. But you can tell that uh, you've given better performances. You must be a little bit off. Perhaps it's the lack of body hair. Uh, perhaps it's the fact that you might look like a, uh, shellless, wrinkly, turtle child. It's hard to say. <laughs> but 
but uh, let's just say it was not uh, not on par with some of your other presentations. Leaf the Druid, you notice a small cask floating into the water. It's going to enter the bay and land in about maybe 20 minutes unless you want to go swim out and get it. I'll, let, I'll wait on it. I'm not swimming out there in the dark. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> your associate egg urges you all uh, give me an insight check. Man, Fang, Leaf, and Felix. This is going to be good. 21. I fumbled it. 30, 20. Uh, Felix and Leaf, uh, clearly Egg wants you to leave is what you're getting. Man, Fang, Egg thinks you're doing a tremendous job. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going to say thank you and then turn back around. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> I'll say I will, I will point out to Man Fang and Felix that there's a keg out in the water making its way okay. ashore. Can you guys assume... spot it? Good, good. I'm going to say to Egg, getting the feeling that he wants us to go, don't worry, buddy. We want to go too. We'll be gone in the morning. He doesn't understand me, I hope. No, a, a, and Egg is tired of trying to get you guys to do what he is suggesting and uh, kind of shrugs his turtle shell and uh, heads back towards the festivities, disheartened. Uh, Man Fang, uh, he is leaving in admiration of your abilities is how you perceive that. Yeah, hey, man. Have you, have you seen these? Have you seen this? No, because your stupid shell is on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the keg comes in and it is marked Dorset. Dorset. And it's got stuff in it. What kind of stuff? You want to uncork the bunghole and see? <laughs> There's just something about that sounds like Felix ought to be doing it. <laughs> Dive right in. I think <laughs> Felix already did. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, uncork sure, it. I'll uncork that bunghole. Let's we'll take see. a little sniff. Uh, it. It's alcohol. Ah. Beer oh. keg. And it says door set on it. Yep. Okay. You going to taste it, Felix? You know I am. Constitution check. Let's see how you like it. Turns out it poisoned you. 18. Jeez, this is some good stuff. Cool. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to rummage around in my uh, rucksack and see if I have like a bottle or something I can a flask to fill up a little bit of it. I would assume that you have an empty in there somewhere. Five. Probably, probably more than one. Uh, yes, I will fill up, I don't know, I guess a flask for later. I'm going to tell Man Fang we should take this, put it back in our room so we can take it with us tomorrow when we go. All right. Yep. <clears throat> uh, did you remember to put the uh, bunghole bung back in? Or... Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> or just trail it. No, uh, that bunghole, to... man. That's a, yeah. Any seafarer knows you've got to keep it covered. That's right. It sounds horrible, but it's accurate, boys and Absolutely. girls. Absolutely. Uh, oh, we lost one. And I was just about ready to move to them. Uh, you guys uh, head back to your rooms. Uh, are you guys just going to hide out there while Copius and Robert uh, handle their business? Yeah, I will. I'm gonna, I, I want to go back over to where Copius is at. Mm -hmm. And just to speak to, uh, what's his name? The village, or uh, uh, what's her name? Nomi? Taggart. Taggart, Taggart or Nomi. Yeah, and, and just and tell and them the that flames. Egg has been trying to say something to us, and we have no idea, but he was very insistent, very insistent. Can you find out what the hell it was? Sure. Egg is in the room. Copious, uh, Robert of Zeppelin pulls you aside and tells you, nice speech. You really held it all together. You had him, <laughs> you had him in the palm of your hand. Boy, uh, maybe you should put some lotion on that thing. You're starting to look all chappy. He goes, uh, so what are we doing? Are we just going to steal this stuff and head out at daybreak and get the hell out of Dodge, or what are we doing? Uh, I'm, I'm going to really profusely thank uh, Robert. Uh, you know, I couldn't have done it without all of his tutelage on how to do public speaking. It clearly showed his finest work. 
um, and then suggest to Robert, we, where's the ship? Because right now oh. we don't know where our ship is. I don't. I thought you told him where to hide. Yeah, we did, but we left Haggis Crapstain in charge. Well, so I'm we sure. Still, I'm sure he'll be back. Yeah, but right now we we saw the. I'm going to explain everything we saw when we hiked up the trail. So we're expecting the raiders to potentially come over first thing tomorrow morning, and we need to be prepared. That sounds like a plan. I uh, I will see if they can expedite the uh, collection of our supplies. Yeah. So do we just want to move it all down by the dock and hope that Haggis gets her? Actually, we're thinking we may want to uh, <coughs> it somewhere so it's not quite so – whatever – not the current amount, but whatever additional he has them gather, we'll ask them to store it somewhere out of sight. Ask them to store it? Have, yeah, have Robert have Robert find a place to take it down to the towards the beach, but don't put it with the existing supplies. Oh yeah. Um, judging from the map, do you want to put it in the uh, general area, or are you thinking over here in the the heavy foliage, or over here in the heavy foliage? Your uh, travel path here, where you've set the trap, is right here. And that the two black lines represent the, the dock? Yes. Yeah, so the a new the current stores are where? The current stores are right about here. So, yeah, see if we can move some of those stores, about half of them, down to the pier. Okay. And find out from the uh, turtles where the raiders normally pick up their supplies from when they come in. Okay uh he will call taggart over and go ahead and pose that question to him taggart will point out that the four tabaxi uh usually uh take the cart that the supplies are in and uh go back the way they came uh and then we send the youngins off to go ahead and get the cart uh a few hours later <coughs> Oh. Give me a give me a perception check as well, Copius. Twenty three. You notice that Leaf the Druid has entered the building and he has called Nomi over to him. I'm going to hoof it over. I'm going to tell Robert to go ahead and move uh, all of the first load of supplies down to the pier, and then put whatever additional supplies he can get gathered. Put them behind the row of houses. Okay, D twelve against me. Eleven. Oh. And uh, <laughs> after giving the instructions, you begin to move through the crowd, but you were stopped. Oh, uh, uh, unga bunga, unga bunga, uh, unga bunga, unga bunga, uh, dino. And they give you a mug of some kind of liquid. Oh, unga bunga. Hey. Copious will take take a hearty draft of it. You know. Give me a con check. Uh, <clears throat> uh, that's some good stuff right there it doesn't taste like gnome soup though does it it does not taste like gnome right. soup there are no uh carrots or peas <laughs> as the case may be uh you get over to leaf as leaf finishes up his discussion with nomi uh leaf nomi it wants to lead you over to egg uh and you notice that copious has arrived i will uh, bring copious up to speed as we walk <laughs> over towards egg and what's going on and what we found Egg seems to be sitting off by himself. Uh, Taggart is also spotted you guys and is watching intently. As you get over, you ask Nomi to pose the question to him, and he thinks for a moment and then responds to her. She seems puzzled and points out that he just wanted to show you how beautiful the moon was tonight. I'm going to tell Nomi that's bullshit. There was uh, something else, something else on his mind that apparently he doesn't want Nomi to know about either. Maybe there's love on his mind in that moonlight. I mean, he was with the biggest, ugliest looking turtle out there. Uh, That's true. You, Leaf and Copius, give me an insight check. <clears throat> Twenty-three. Eleven. Uh Leaf, you definitely have pegged it. Copious isn't quite as certain. Uh, there's something he doesn't want to say in front of Nomi. 
Uh, Felix and Manfang, give me perception checks. 21. My rolls are not good today. I got it. <laughs> they, are, they are total crap. I got seven. You are using a D20, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, Man Fang does not hear it. Felix, there's something outside your building that's moving around. Hmm. Does, does it sound large? Humanoid esque. I'm going to say to Manfang, I'm going to whisper to him, do you hear that? No. Am I going crazy? Uh, man, I, I swear, I think I hear something moving around. Also, what, give me a gonna, con yeah, check, Felix. Oh, man, you want to go check it out? Oh, man? no. I'm going to take another sip of this flask while I'm doing that. Want to take a, well, am I going to look at it? 18 on the con check. Uh, Man Fang, he appears to be rational and full of sense. So, you guys want to go take a look as he starts to uh, drink? You guys go outside. Uh, Felix, it was your idea. D20 against me, straight up. 19. 10. Ten. Uh, you catch movement around the corner of the building. Uh, presumably, they heard you coming out and have moved. Now, is the moon on the horizon now, or is it high in the sky? High in the sky. Okay, so it's <laughs> totally pretty illuminated there. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to well, whisper to Man Fang that I just saw somebody run around the corner. Let's go. Well, I'm going to do a tactical roll and then hop and look, peek around the corner. I'll take a dexterity check there, uh, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Where's my dexterity? <sighs> 19. Oh, nicely <laughs> done. Uh, you, you do a very uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle jump and then uh, catch it. And you also see somebody running around the second corner. Let's do it again. Nine. Fair enough. Felix, uh, as you're catching up to Manfang, do you want to pick up his dropped blade? <laughs> I think I better, yes. Okay. Uh, as you two round the second corner, uh, you notice a pair of turtles uh, making out. Oh, I'm gonna hey. I'm going to yell, cookies, and then run around the corner. Leaving Felix standing there, drinking, not creepy at all. <laughs> you guys can just gonna, like you're doing. I'm just here to watch. I, I'm not going to say that. I'm just going <laughs> to kind of wave, salute, and back off, and be like, oh, okay, that's all we heard. That was, uh, that was right there. You just keep doing what you're doing. I'm just here to watch. Man Fang, you're supposed to duck out of the way and go, hey, perv! <laughs> While Felix yeah. just stands there. <laughs> uh, um, okay. Uh, back in the building, Leaf and Copious. Uh, Egg's being deceptive, but you haven't been able to figure out why. What do you want to do? <clears throat> I want to uh, tell Leaf, I said, this is where Robert really comes in handy. He, he's pretty he's good. He's right at over there. He's pretty good at discerning these sorts of things. And when all else fails, scaring the living turtle poop out of somebody. So why don't we grab Robert and drag him over into this conversation, see if he can discern the truth here. Uh, Leaf, give me a D12 for Robert, please. Two. Yeah, I know. I've been sitting here talking for five minutes and I was muted. <laughs> Eleven. Uh, he cuts a wide swath through the crowd. What's up? I'll explain to him what's going on with the uh, uh, egg. And as I was saying before I unmuted, <laughs> I'll tell Naomi thanks and that we don't need her for anything else. She says, okay. We're going to grab him by the shoulder and say, where is she? 
Robert. Gives him the look. 18 on the roll. Uh, Egg is about ready to poop his shell. Uh, we want to know what you're talking about. Uh, unga bunga, unga bunga, unga bunga, bunga galata, unga bunga. I know exactly what he's saying. Robert, cast comprehend languages if you're going to intimidate and interrogate a turtle. Oh, I did not consider that. Whoosh. Repeat. <laughs> uh, egg. Unga bunga, bunga gulunga, unga bunga, bunga, gabunga. Gulunga kachunga. Robert appears puzzled. But with a nat 20, unga bunga, bunga, galunga, bunga. Oh, he turns to Leaf and Copious and says, uh, we're in danger, grave danger, because there's no other kind. What kind of danger? Grave. Grave. <laughs> <laughs> From? From what? Uh, apparently, uh, Egg uh, is concerned that we will not be able to take all of the tabaxi on uh, because he believes that with the scouts killed, uh, the entire force of the uh, Kroken pirates will be upon us and them. Sounds fair. What about we do this? What about we do this? How about we whoa, 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 whoa. What room are you in? You're <laughs> not in our room. You're I mean, I mean, going to I mean, join in. I mean, your mind. You're hanging out with now. a foyer. <laughs> I'm into the wall right now. You can't hear me. Here, let me mute myself. For you a and quick. Larry Flint are yeah, somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. He's watching turtle porn. That. Yeah. That's Felix Flint, his first cousin. <laughs> Felix Flint. Felix Flint. <laughs> and you know, a lot of people won't get that joke at all. Uh, nope. Okay, uh, let, let's go with Man Fang and Felix. Uh, you guys are in there. You, you caught a pair of turtles making out. I guess they're happy or something. Uh, give me another perception roll. 14. Uh, what's that? Perception plus 18. <laughs> what is it? 18. Uh, the noises outside are getting louder. You aren't quite certain what they are, but go ahead and assume that uh, what was that? baiting session is going on. Gotten to third yeah. base. I don't need to hear any more of this. Part of the wall buckles on the <laughs> side that you caught them. Oh boy! Yeah, uh, I'm going to walk back around and say, "I'm not." No, I don't want to walk back around. Actually, I'm just going to say, "Is there anybody back behind this wall?" I'm just going to ask, because I don't want to walk around and see anything. Bad. Unga Boonga. Uh, Felix, are you inside or outside? <laughs> That's a uh, bad idea. I am going to tell Manfang, like, I'm going to go see what's going on at that party. You stay here and guard the, the stuff. All right. What I'm going to say this time is... <laughs> I have an idea. It's better than the last time. Okay? What I'm going to say... Be worse. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to say is... If I can come around, tap the wall twice. If I if I can't, tap it once. Give me a perception check, man, Fang. 18 again. You smell smoke. I'm just going to walk around. Uh, there are no turtle there, and the side of the building is on fire. Oh, God. Um, is there any water around? You're on a tropical island. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, the river is rather close. Uh, Do I have anything like um like a big like a like a big like thing that anything that can really carry a lot of water on? Like it? a giant shell? Yeah, I'm gonna use my giant shell and start throwing water at the fire. Uh, you are here, uh, so the river the river runs through it, damn near. Uh, so you can start scooping water out. Give me two performance checks, please. 14. And that sounds for er, numbers, 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 and 11. Fair enough. Uh, using your 
armor, uh, you successfully managed to put out the fledgling fire with only some minor damage scorching the side of the wall. A quick look around reveals the turtle lovers are nowhere to be seen. Uh, Felix, you arrive and look through the party and you see Robert doing his Robert uh, to pour egg over on the far wall. Uh, give me a uh, give me a perception check, Felix. Eleven. Uh, that is all you notice, aside from the fact that Leaf and Copius are also with him. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I guess, go over to Copius and explain what I just witnessed and said I didn't want to see any more. Hey, 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 guess what I just saw? Guess what I just saw? <laughs> <laughs> we are all now sophomores. <laughs> and this is a Porky's six. <laughs> shell on shell. Uh, so I'm going to talk to Felix about what we're discovering here and uh, suggest an, a new plan based on all the information we have. Apparently, they always come, those four guys always come and take the cart. And take it back and then they send young turtles to go gather the cart from the cove and bring it return it uh egg here says that since the four scouts never returned he's afraid the entire ship is going to unload and come looking for their scouts and looking for the stuff and take retribution out on on the village so here's what i'm thinking we load stuff up on the cart we convince um we push the cart where it's clearly visible, either from the beach or from the path, and we lay ambush around the cart so that if folks, if they do come in, we get all, we talk with Taggart and have the entire village, anyone who can't fight, we send off into the jungle as soon as there's a, a scout spots them, and the others, we hide in the buildings observing the cart to see if they'll take the bait and we try to just get them into the alley the little small spaces between the buildings to try to just do as much damage as possible and or we just run how about we do this poison the supplies take the cart up the hill park it leave the corpses around it let me turn into a, a, a panther and i'll rip them up make it look like a wild animal did it, and we leave them there for them to find. They'll just think somebody else, you know, that something attacked them and, and killed all their people. I They'll kind of like that back and poison like themselves. If we just take the cart with the supplies off into the jungle on the path, like you said, we tell the townspeople when the tabaxi pirates show up, say, oh, yeah, they were here. What do you mean you didn't get your supplies? Robert is Robert is tired of egg and he says what egg unga boonga Robert turns around what's he want Robert where'd everyone go <laughs> <laughs> The room that was once filled with turtle celebrants is empty. Has Ben Feng rejoined us yet, or is he still playing fireman? I think he bursts in to go ahead and go oh, away. Oh, you the... know what I just did? I'm a hero. <laughs> what are you guys going to do? I'll put out a fire today. Well, shoot. I feel like the... the uh... Croken may have already joined us in the night. Uh, that doesn't sound very magnificent, <laughs> 70. <laughs> so well, I'm, I'm going to... it's time to grab our shit and hide in the bushes. Yeah. Well, I, it's, it's dark out. There's a full moon, but I'm assuming there's lots of shadows. So I'm going to try to uh, stealth my way so I can see where the, the path that comes out of the, the uh, jungle and work my way to there and just see if I can see anything and do an observation. I, I am just so glad you guys totally ignored 
Because <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid of that I'd do it. You'd be like, yes. Uh, nope. <laughs> I'd do it. I thought you were making fun of me doing it. That's why I started doing it, because I knew I could probably get uh-huh. away with it. You guys are here. Your place of residence is here. Over here is where the trap has been laid. And that is the location that you wanted to put the cart O supplies initially. So uh, don't forget Gato's Bane is here or here at the old shrine. So do you want to cut through the center of town? Or do you want to follow the river and go um, around that way? I want to, if I can stay in shadows and stealthily cross the river at the normal bridge without being too visible, then I'll do it and go around Gato's Bane. Because if that chick's gone, I'm going in for my ring. And then, uh, <laughs> and then, okay. and then work my way around her area and see what I can see. Fair enough. Uh, who's going with him? I'll follow him. I was going to say, it has to be somebody that can stay hidden. Felix can. I, I was waiting yeah, for Manfang. Man Fang. Yeah, I was waiting for Manfang to volunteer. So three foot gnome, eight foot dragonborn turtle wearer. Yep. Well, at least in the shadows, he might uh, appear to be true. a turtle. That that could be a, a bonus. Leaf, are you going with these uh, clowns? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, not even Robert is around. Wasn't he just talking to us? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, my, my bad. My no, bad. This my is bad. getting weirder by the yes. way. Yes. Robert, right? I'm going to look around see if I can find where the tortles went. Robert will go with you. Okay. Uh, as you guys exit, uh, Captain Copius and uh, Holy Roller Man Fang, as well as Felix, the last sane member, uh, all hut, 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 hut. <laughs> and head t- <clears throat> head towards the bridge you can see small pockets of turtles mingling uh with uh unga boonga conversation amongst them uonga, uonga, uh, oonga, oh be, yeah yeah they all appear to be fairly inebriated uh but they all appear to be getting ready to gather supplies so everybody insight check please <clears throat> 17 19. One or wait? <laughs> wait, that was wait. Okay. It's um 16. Uh, Copius is focused in on his stealthy maneuvers. Everybody else can clearly see that uh, they're gathering stuff to go out into the jungle to gather apparently fresh water and foodstuffs for you guys. It does not at this time, appear to be nefarious from what you can tell. I'm going to keep proceeding forward, watching Copius dance in the shadows. <laughs> dance in the moonlight. <laughs> well, I'm waiting for him to uh, dance in the moonlight. I'm keeping a hand on that make, silver make dagger. Naked children, man. Remember uh, Dancing Naked Baby gif, the first one? Mm-hmm. That's what Copius looks yes. like now. <laughs> Uh, you guys managed to uh, hug the river bank and get your way around Gato's Bane's place. You see her out on her porch, rocking with her tobacco pipe. Uh, it does not appear as though she sees you. Or if she does, she does not care. As you circle around the shrine, you notice several more pockets of turtles headed off into the jungle fields. Uh presumably to gather the supplies because Robert was very specific about getting the most bang for the buck. And at this Leaf, point, all we see are turtles. Nothing but turtles, right? Nothing but turtles. There's no alarms being raised. There's no extra fires. Everything appears just fine. And I will use my DM's mask at this time. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and and just walk around the village and check things out, especially over by the docks. 
Uh, Robert asks you if you really think it's a good idea to trespass into these homes. Absolutely. Fair enough. Do what you got to do. <clears throat> so I'll knock before I go in. Fair enough. Uh, no, nobody seems to be answering their doors. You gotta say this is the police. That's the only way they open the door. They never open the door when you say that. <laughs> Trust me, they don't open the door. <laughs> I'll go ahead and, and open the door. Deputy well, sheriff, we have a search warrant. Hey, you say uh, pizza delivery guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, it appears to be a standard residence, uh, or depending on where you go, yeah. uh, the, the old inn, of the tavern. There do not appear to be any people or any turtles floating around. All right. We'll go down and check the docks, too. Give me a perception check. Uh, 17. Uh, there is another uh, cask floating in the water. Is it close enough to see it? I mean, to get it? You can wait out and get it if you want. I'll wait out to it. Something brushes up against your leg, but you managed to catch the cask. It says, the Harbinger. Hmm. I'll go ahead and float it on the shore then. Very good. Uh, meanwhile, the stealthy group, uh, you make it all the way around to your trap well laid. What do you want to do? <clears throat> I'm going to talk to Felix. I, I don't see anything. The turtle, it's all we've seen are turtles going out in the jungle. And I assume that's because Robert's having them get the supplies. Yeah, something doesn't feel right though. Look at them. They don't look normal. Weren't they? Uh, they were all partying just a short time ago. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe I've been drinking too much of this stuff myself, but they just seemed <laughs> off. Yeah, I'm getting that creepy feeling you get like when you visit certain relations and you go like, I know I don't want to open this door. Everybody perception check at disadvantage. Everybody. Leaf you too. 19. It's snowing sideways at your guys' houses. I rolled 19 twice. 16. 16, 17, 19, and nice <laughs> nice shooting, Tex. Uh, man, man Fang does not notice. It kind of smells like something's burning. Uh, Leaf, you are down in the village. Uh, you and Robert look around, but I mean, there are a few bonfires, but it doesn't smell the same way. I'm going to look out to sea. It's a beautiful midnight uh, moon. You and Robert can go hand in hand and run along the beach, possibly finding a horse that you can ride on, but there's nothing out in the sea. That was uncalled for. <laughs> that is something that he would have said. <laughs> you know, you know, Robert can't ride. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you guys head out, but there's no flaming wrecks or anything like that. No burning forests, no structures on fire. Uh, Felix, Manfang, and Copius, uh, same. There's, You smell it. You don't know where it's at. And it is a beautiful night out. I'm going to use my echolocation and clap my hands like it's find the fire like rats. <laughs> Something doesn't feel like Copius. <laughs> I think you're on the wrong game, boy. <laughs> He is. <laughs> I'm going to stress again to Copius that something doesn't feel right. I, I'm right the there. The Pantaloons region. <laughs> <laughs> I got more than just a burning. <laughs> this time it's goosebumps running up my spine. Listen, I just want to point out once again Carnival of the Dead, Curse, Gelatinous Cube, Lycanthropy. Yeah, not any worse than all those. <laughs> Being naked in a baptismal font with carrots and celery. There's, there's nothing that scares me after that. <laughs> See, he no. has no hairs standing on his body. <laughs> None. 
What about zombie turtles? Oh, that'd be good. <clears throat> I shouldn't be saying this. Alex, me. need I remind you, you don't need to give him freaking I ideas. Know. I'm just trying to assess what I'm witnessing, which is all these you're, you're not seeing all anything. The turtles so, in the middle of the night Alex. are suddenly marching off into the jungle. There's one way. We walk into the jungle and follow there the you go. and observe them. That's Let's what we do. It. And Let's I'll stay it. back here where it's safe. You but, go yeah, ahead. We need... Well, you are in ta town. Uh, so you are, you're with Robert, so there's nothing going on. Uh, copious man, Fang and, uh, Felix, uh, we'll use the heart. You guys are here. Your trap is here. Tortles went here, here, and here that you saw. And those are cultivated fields, are they not? They are. All right. Yeah, Charles of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, let's follow him as sneakily as we can. All right. Frankie, man, Frankie. Frankie. Run well, down man. there. <laughs> run back down into town. Well, don't run, but go down and tell okay, then. Robert and Leaf that we're going into these crops here to yeah. follow the portals. Yeah. Lenny rice, the rice patties. Yeah, yeah. Go hide behind the chainsaws, Alex. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, Lieutenant Dan off. is taking you into no, the rice I, patties. I have, it's like apocalypse <laughs> now feeling going on right now. With or without the I music. I hear the music. <laughs> I, I feel like there's going to be Hueys coming down that river basin any moment now. I, I'm I'm picturing more of a burned out. Superstar, just uh, uh, the real power behind the throne. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to go after one, two, or three? Uh, I would rather have uh, maybe something to escape route, not run into another one if we need to get away quickly. So, I would say not two, where the running to either side puts us into a, another group. Piercer, pincer move, yeah. Can we yeah. navigate our own trap in the darkness, you think? Because no. I don't have dark. Okay, then that no. means number one. Is there, we're left with one. <laughs> Let's go to number one. I took 12 points well, now, of damage now. the last time I tried to navigate in the daylight. <laughs> now, to be fair, it's one, two, and three, and then this one is your trap. Yes, I understand that, but if we're uh, fleeing okay. from number three, we're going to be going towards our trap. Gotcha. Yeah. So num number one is the choice, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> man, man, Fang, give me a D12 against me. Eight. <laughs> it's going to take seven buildings for you to find Leaf and Robert because they're so stealthy. Uh, so you will be a little bit late there, uh, one if by land, two if by sea, in trying to find those guys. <laughs> uh, Felix and Copious, uh, you head off for number one uh you know what just give me a random d20 uh roll let's see how you guys get through the muck 11 what eight. was it felix eight uh felix is getting stuck in the mud but copious being lighter and hairless uh, is able to traverse the furrows much better as you creep through silently and stealthy as you can uh, you hear sounds of, uh, voodoo weapons, drums, weapons play, maybe machetes, whacking stuff. <clears throat> uh, as you creep forward, uh, in the darkness, both of you give me perception checks. Turns out they were just cutting. They were just cutting Nine. down the brain and they cut off on your guys' heads. 20. Copious, uh, you catch a you faint want? you catch a faint glimmer from a torchlight uh, over to your two o'clock position, and that seems to be where the chopping sounds are coming from. We're keep moving our way that direction, and mud just slides right off this bald body. <sighs> there are two turtles, uh, one on each other's shoulders. 
uh, whacking at fruit, jungle fruit, up in the trees, <clears throat> dropping down the precious cargo. It appears as though they are collecting supplies. They do not see you at this time. Uh, do we have a recollection of how big the groups would be? So you, you identified three groups, but that's two turtles. How many were we expect? I was, how many would I have thought there would have been? I guess is my question. <clears throat> two, four, two. Okay. So two is what we would have expected in this group Four in the next year. I, I'm going to whisper to Felix. I said, it, it looks normal, but let's check out the group two. The next one. I agree. I'll take dex checks again. Natural 20. Uh, 16. Uh, you finally figured out which way the furrows run and you managed to get up on the slight ridges. Uh, you move towards where there are four. Both of you give me perception checks. My luck can't hold. <clears throat> and again, one. Uh, 18. Uh, Copious is moving forward at a brisk pace, but feels a hand to grab his shoulder as Felix spots four workers. One of those workers is Egg. They do not see you. I, I would look at Felix said, how did Egg get out here past us as one of the work groups. Wasn't he with Robert? Yes, he was. He was yeah, indeed. Pretty until good. Robert and Leaf left. Also, the smell of burn is a little bit heavier in this location. Hmm. Still no glow from something <clears throat> burning. No, none, none whatsoever. I feel like the forest is on fire. The sugarcane fields are burning. What was that movie where they went through like the wormhole and at Saturn? What's the movie called? It's like space. It starts and end. Uh, Nexus? No. Um, there's a lot of movies that do that. Hey, there's no movies on Torgo Island. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I guess let's go off to the third one, right? Yep. Let's keep, keep moving. Uh, you guys have figured out how to move, so I'm not going to make you roll again. Uh, the scent of burn is definitely getting somewhat lighter. That's what I'm starting to think. Leaf, nope, no, no glow. Uh, Leaf and uh, Robert, you are approached by Man Fang, who screams out, "Well, there you are." <laughs> uh, the others are uh, checking out the ridge. Uh, apparently. What do you want to tell him, Man Fang? We'll let your uh, classic diplomacy skills take this. I one. completely forget what we were talking about and what I was going to tell him. That's fair enough. Uh, apparently, work groups have been sent out, and they are maybe allegedly gathering foodstuffs, but I'm not so sure is, about is that. So, is copious and Felix checking copious. them out? Is that what you're trying to tell me, Man Fang? Okay, why don't you yes. hang with us? Also, Timmy is in the well. <laughs> Timmy's in the well? That's Timmy's damn fault. We ain't going to bother him. We don't have time. Timmy the turtle? Yeah. Now, Leaf, uh, where did you and Robert want to go, aside from all the buildings? You've already managed to encapsulate 1 through 7 and 12 uh, without finding yeah. even, even a child. Not even a child is around. I, uh, jeez. I'm going to tell Robert, I said, this it looks like they all went out in the fields. Whatever they're doing, and Copious and, and, and Felix are checking that out. I think maybe we need to gather up our stuff and relocate it. With a one, he offers a different viewpoint. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's nobody here. So we can pretty much have the run of this place. I say we move all the stuff here to the docks. They'll all come back. They'll be tired. They'll go immediately to bed. They won't notice that we've moved the stuff. Haggis brings the ship up. Bing, bang, boom. We load it up. Boom. We're out of here. Well, 
Mike. That, 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 that is the you're idea. Close. That, you're close. That, right. I, I found out the movie. It was Interstellar. It was Interstellar. Okay. That's not an N. <laughs> I know, but I had an N in it. Okay. Okay. I, I say we, we are half right, Robert. Let's gather up stuff, but instead of putting it at the docks, let's hide it in the bushes up here by the docks so that it's not noticeable to somebody to come. Just in case somebody lands out here at the docks, I don't want them finding our stuff. And then we'll we'll just keep an eye on it until the other two get up here. Well, that's what I meant. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought you meant that. <laughs> So we'll get man fang it's just and go back and start moving our stuff up. <laughs> oh, waiter boy. <laughs> uh, Copius and Felix, you close in on the third group. Give me stealth checks to see if your luck holds. 16. Five. Uh, you trip over one of the dead tabaxi bodies. They didn't really do a great job of burying them. Uh, you make a small amount of noise. Is it enough to be noticed? It is. Uh, the two turtle stop working. Uh, unga boonga, boonga galunga. Uh, they set down their gathering supplies and begin to creep out towards the location of the noise, a.k.a. Uh, proned out Felix. I'm, I'm going to make noise and walk right into the, the clearing and announce myself to uh, very, very friendly activity emotions, you know, approving noises about their gathering, appreciative noises away from Felix. Uh, 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 uh. Felix, would you like to get up? Yes, I guess I'll get up and. <laughs> I, I was doing that to distract them away from Felix so that if he wants to stay hidden in shadows, he can. That, that's why I asked. <laughs> <laughs> I wish check, you wouldn't have got up. Check the oil on that bus for me, please. Uh, they are startled at your rapid appearance, uh, and that brings question upon Copius's motives. Uh, but it is forgiven. Uh Unga Bunga, Gunga Galunga. They show you the supplies that they have uh, gotten thus far. Felix, give me a wisdom check. <laughs> Two. Well, plus my modifier. Oh, yeah. Th that'll be close. That'll put you up and over it. <laughs> Ooh, <a four. laughs> uh, you do not recognize these turtle. What would you guys like to do now since there is a definitive language barrier here? Um, I want to head up the trail to see if if, it, as, if the smell of burning's gotten stronger as we've moved towards the trail. I want to get up the trail a little ways and see if we can find the source of it. Sure. Dex checks for both of you. Oh my god. Down the trail we go. Into the spike pit. Oh, you aren't there yet. <laughs> Fourteen. Uh, you guys make it up. However, you are at this one, not where the spike trap is. So you will have to maybe go that way if you're interested in checking on it. Back in town, uh, Leaf Manfang has successfully gathered it up with a significant amount of grumbling. Uh, move the oh. wagon. I was going to help him. I'd say we get Leaf and go get the. Oh. So Robert and I should be assisting in that process. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys are steering the wagon, which, yep. uh, give me an insight check. Uh, 23. You know, there, there, there's a lot of supplies here for the, what, eight of you? Uh, Haggis, the Tabaxi, and you four. Uh, the eight of you. They're, 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 that's a lot of supplies already. Robert will, of course, argue that he made a magnificent deal and he wants to follow through, uh, gaining the collective that he the agreed upon sum. I'll say, well, Robert, that's that's fine. And you can stay here. We'll just come back by and pick you up in a oh, year or two. He screams out, old man, do you see the boat? I propose we go looking for the boat. 
And how do you propose we go looking for the boat? Using our feet. I got a better idea. Won't we hide this stuff over here in the jungle next to the docks and I'll go look for the boat. Eagle, hawk? Nope, can't fly, can swim. Fish. Fish. Okay, fair enough. You do that. Copious and Felix, uh, you get to the rise. The smell of burning wood is very strong here, and there is a faint glow several thousand yards away uh, through the thick jungle forest. Uh -oh. uh, you are going to have to move through the forest interior to get a better look. Is it in the direction that the path goes down to the cove, or is it a different direction? Yes. <sighs> I'm going to look at Felix and go, we didn't set fire to anything, did we? No, Robert wasn't with us. <laughs> it okay. concerns me that you have to ask that question, <laughs> although I should not be shocked at all. Uh, the smell is coming from here. Uh -huh. Felix, do we want to try to go down the trail a little ways to see? Let's, yeah, let's go. That's burning. Because let's we go have a little ways. The horizon, right? Until now, we had, didn't know where the smell was coming from. Yeah, I think let's go a little bit with a little ways down the trail. But let's keep an eye on our our six to make sure that nobody's coming up behind us. And we have an escape in case the flames are as bad as it sounds like. More worried about those turtles coming up and assembling and trying to slaughter us in the moonlight. Some ritual killing. Yeah, they're such warriors and all. Well, hey, turtles of the corn, man. <laughs> yeah, turtles of the corn is right. You got to be wary of that old, the old one that uh, did the number on copious. Yeah, Gatos Bane is not to be trifled with. Uh, so you guys are going to head through the jungle interior. Uh, copious D12 against me. Yeah, that always goes my way. Ten. A one. Uh, there, there are no indigenous life forms on the way there. Leaf, you, Robert, and Manfang go ahead and maneuver the supplies into a rather what you consider stealthy location. Uh, okay. I assume you walk into the water and turn into reef shark reef shark. Uh, as you go out into the bay, uh, which way would you like to? God only knows. Let me flip a coin here. Well, I don't know which way is which, but I would assume probably, uh, yeah, right back out that way. I'll go out that way for a ways along the shoreline. It opens up into the ocean, and you can go left or right. I'm going to go left to start with. Fair enough. Uh, it's going to take you a bit of a time. Manfang, what are you doing? You're muted. Mute. I don't know. Where am I at? You are with Robert uh, guarding the wagon at this time. All right. I'm going to say, you want to do something cool? Sure. What do you got in mind? I don't know. I was hoping you had something. We could burn this place down. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, oh, no. That's what happens when you leave those two in charge. Uh, <laughs> I can't really oh, refute it. That's the nature oh. of the conversation that probably would take place. I know. So you two are, uh, let's see here. Well, look at his intelligence. He, he's not going to see anything wrong with that. Right. Hey, hey you guys, Lenny, Lenny the turtle, did, have you ever told any of us about the fact that you put a fire out? You started to, but did you ever finish? He did not. Okay, just checking. Uh, Lenny so, the turtle? That's pretty good, Jason. <laughs> so, man, Fang, which building do you think we should set on fire? Uh, dealer's choice. You know what? I, I'll, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Give me an intelligence check. Jesus. You're just mean. One. One. Yeah. That's, it's negative three. So it'd be. <laughs> um, what's that? Bam, bam. It's negative two, isn't it? No, it's negative three. It's negative three. He is oh. really a stupid character. <laughs> 
So What'd you roll? Eight. It'd be eight. 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 Yeah, we could let's let's set a small place on fire first. And then we'll start small and then get big. Sure. You want to do one or two? Mm. Oh Jesus. Let's do one. I'm far away from the line of sight. Uh give me a performance check on your ability to light the light baby light my fire. We didn't start the fire. Actually, you are starting the fire. I suck at lighting fires, man. No dice? Nice. Uh, you set your finger on fire. Uh, up on the ridge, Felix and uh, Copius, you guys are making your way blundering through the dense underbrush of the jungle, uh, and you can see some flittering shadows moving about uh, up through the trees. You do not believe they are monkeys, and they're too high to be turtles but you aren't really sure what it is. At this point in time, nothing has interacted with you. And as you cut across on a diagonal base, the light grows intensely. Can we get, I assume we don't have a good line of sight on the light just yet, All, only a glow. So we can't Correct. see any figures. No, smoke, the no figures. Nope. Okay. Well, Copius, shall we press on and try to get a good glimpse of it? Yeah, I want to know, are we getting, based on our rough knowledge of the area, do we feel like if we move in one direction or the other, we'll, we'll get to the path faster? Because right now we're moving through dense jungle instead of trying to walk on the path. And that's why I'm just curious. <laughs> You are headed at a diagonal, so your point of connection is probably going to be somewhere near the tip. Yeah. So, I'm but if you if you alter your course, that's why I'm asking Felix. Should we try to cut more over to the path and get out of the jungle? And you said we we notice the shadows moving in the the foliage above our heads. Yeah. So in the the uh, jungle tops, something's moving up there. And I would feel better if we had open sky above us if we move towards the path, just in case. I, I feel with my new aerodynamic top, is you know, it it might might it's just not gonna look right if it gets dented or has you know monkey poop on it. So uh, remember it won't stick. It slides right off. Yeah, you've got turtle, you've got turtle wax on. I have turtle wax, that's right. I turtle forgot. Wax, that's right. Wax yeah, water wax off. slides right off. Yeah. So you guys are gonna cut over. Cut over. Okay, you find the trail. Uh, I might want to put a hat or a bandana on that head so that the moonlight doesn't reflect and give away our position. Well, right now what I want to know is in the full moonlight, it's not suddenly furry, is it? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> Do you feel all right in the moonlight? Do you? I feel fine. I feel fine. Only one of you failed that role. I'm not the one that has to keep making constitution rules. Let's just point that out. I he, didn't, he didn't get bit by the lycanthrope. It's yeah, you, Leaf, right. and I'm, the only, I'm the only one that hasn't gotten bit by you him. Know, if he had the constitution of a wolf, he wouldn't have to make all those constitution saving throws. As you two argue about the pro-con <laughs> of the lycanthrope <laughs> were creature that one of you will become, Leaf, you have turned into a reef shark. Yes. You have not grown hair either, but as you make your way along the coastline, you are starting to become disturbed as a variety of debris is bobbing in the shoreline. At this point in time, it is all inorganic material. Do you continue to press north? Yes. Using your vast aquatic speed as a reef shark, uh, you come to a small inlet to what would be the uh, south of the uh, uh, Dimbo, Dimbo Point, uh, because my map is upside down. Uh, the name of your, you guys did not give a name to your ship. You scratched out the uh, old name. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. 
I, I stand corrected. It is the pistress. Uh, pistress. <laughs> and actually, I need to throw that in because it's some. It means something in Latin, but I've forgotten because uh, I wrote it last month. But yes, if you look at it in Latin, it means something. Uh, Lee, that was from Felix, just because of the problems he's been having. <laughs> That's kind of what I thought it was too. I didn't realize I it was Latin. That, uh, you know that it, he doesn't have a mistress; he has a mistress. <laughs> It's, it, it's either Latin or Sumerian is what I usually take them from. So it's one of those. Uh, Leaf, uh, you are now finding uh, parts of bodies, some with fur, some with uh, reptilian, a.k.a. turtle flesh. Uh, as you move with your zooming speed, you come into contact with a trio of ships two of which are burning, one of which is moving off. Uh, from your vantage point below, the one moving off appears to be a turtle warship. Can uh, I see the name on it? Nope, because you're underwater. You're a reef shark. Well, I'm going to come up to the top of the water. You got night vision? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, hold that thought. Felix... Copious, uh, with your lycanthrope, uh, no, you're the lycanthrope discussion over, you make your way up to a the peak of a ridge. Give me a dex check. A one will cause problems. Anything else will not. Good. <laughs> uh, you manage to get to the peak, and down below, you see an inlet. Two ships are on fire. A third ship is beginning to move off. From your vantage point, the third ship is a turtle warship. At least one of the uh, fires is a turtle warship. The other is a merchant style vessel. Does it resemble the ship we saw last time we were here, or is it different than the ship we saw last time? Where? You said one was on fire, was a merchant ship. And we saw a ship in the cove last time we came down the path. I was wondering if it looked like it might be the same ship. Yeah, possibly. Okay, so it's not radically different anyways. Not radically remember different. we saw three masts. I didn't know that we actually saw the ship. We just saw the three masts, didn't we? Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at Felix and go, okay. I'm going there to aren't three masts now. <laughs> I'm going to say there's two scenarios here. One, that's our tour to warship on fire in the cove. Two... That's not our turtle turtle warship in the cove. Our turtle warship is somewhere still out there, but we had a turtle warship that attacked the tabaxi in the cove. So where are the survivors? The third ship, though, right? And the third ship is not on fire. So the third scenario is that's the pistress sailing away back out into the open after crap stains set everything on fire. Now, I was thinking through that scenario. You realize... That means that Haggis Crapstein just became the most feared naval person in these waters with a drug lord, two tabaxi that can't speak English, and two insane gnomes. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. And, <laughs> yeah, the, don't forget the two turtles. <clears throat> uh, okay. I'm not, not sure where like the he... scenario. <laughs> I'm not sure where he went, but Man Fang is going to be stopped by Taggart. Uh, and unfortunately, we can't play that out just quite yet, so we'll wait till he gets back. Uh, lost him. Yeah, he and Robert uh, have been confronted by the town elder. Uh, Felix and Copius are weighing the pro cons of the naval battle. Copius seems to feel that uh, he is no longer going to be the most feared buccaneer on the waters. Leaf, uh, you bob your head up. Well, let me, before you say anything, I have to correct myself. I said I have, I have dark vision when I'm a druid. Mm -hmm. As a reef shark, I've got blind sight. Okay. Blind sight's only going to be good to help you fight. Yeah. And I don't, it doesn't say that reef sharks can see in the dark. So. Right. And I, I don't think you can read as a reef shark. No, I pretty much uh, hosed yourself. Well, you no, you just not really didn't have much choice. I can't swim that far on top of the water. True. Uh, would you like to beat yourself and turn back into a druid by yourself in enemy <laughs> waters? 
in with the dark. three vessels in the dark. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Turtles in the corn. There he is. I'm back. Man fang while I read. <laughs> hey, my, my computer, the computer downstairs crashed. Uh, no problem. Uh, Man Fang, while you have successfully lit your finger on fire and Robert has viciously mocked you, uh, from around the corner, a large elderly turtle, Taggart, goes, what are you two doing? <laughs> Playing with fire. You do realize that would incinerate most of our settlement, do you not? We're turning the other way. We're turning towards the ocean. He gives you a look that is condescending and abusive, uh, like when you lie to your father. I've seen that before. Yeah, I yep. couldn't that. I would imagine that you may have seen that once, possibly yeah. twice in Maybe your life. Uh, so you are well aware of the look. Uh, he asks, do you want to try again? Sure, man. I'll try again. Let me get my dice. What do I have to roll? Persuasion. Persuasion? All right, man. What's my persuasion before? I, oh, it's plus zero. I better get a good roll. 19. And what would you like to say to him? I don't even know. Can you make this up for me? I, I'm, I'm going to say something <laughs> stupid. I'm going to say something stupid, and that 19 is going to roll. That's, but you're supposed to say something stupid. <laughs> Um, Fine, man. We were playing with fire. We weren't doing anything harmless, man. You will tell him that uh, you were attempting to ignite a torch to uh, give yourselves the ability to see the beauty of Dimbo Point in a more radiant light as the moonlight casts a gorgeous spectrum of illumination <laughs> upon its foundation. Yeah. You feel yeah. that you would like to see it in a more earthy tone. Yeah, that's what Man Fang would say. Yeah. I was, no, that, that was his intent. What really came out was fire, fire. <laughs> fire good. Fire good. <laughs> he like fire. Hey, at least he hasn't breathed acid on anything yet. Uh, Taggart steps away, presumably looking at some kind of vegetation growth. Uh, give me an insight check. God. Insight. Oh my insights plus four. That is twelve. Uh yeah, that looks totally fine. Now you hear screaming. I'm gonna go check out what I'm just gonna go look where he went from. Wait, where can I locate the screaming before when I go there? Clearly it is behind Gato's Bane's shrine. Let's go Oops. check it out. We should go check that out. We should go definitely check that out. Uh, as you head there in an expedited fashion with Taggart uh, lopping behind you, as is Robert, the open fields behind Gato's Bane is lit with several torches as the people or the turtles who fanned out to go collect items are now centering themselves on it. You see two turtles, two turtles, and three turtles. Which group would you like to approach? I'm going to go to the group group in the middle because they seem the most important and I can get ambushed on both sides. That is that is a very solid reasoning. I like that. I love this plan. This is a great idea. Great. Uh, what's your movement speed? 35 or 30? Uh, let me, it's 30. Walk in. Okay. I'm going to guess you're probably not going to be too far ahead of Taggart and he will catch up with you expeditiously. The three turtle are dragging a fourth turtle behind them. Uh, and he is missing a large chunk of his neck. Give me a straight up D20 roll. 10. It appears as though his throat has been ripped out. I'm going to ask... Oh, oh, God. I can't even ask. God. Uh, I'm going to tell Robert to get over here so he can translate language for me real quick. Robert looks at the scene and goes, Whew. that looks bad. Can, I guess gonna he's ask, not going to give us a shout out now. <laughs> can you ask him, can you ask the three alive turtles what happened to the dead one? 
Sure. I'm just the translator. Yes. Not a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. He casts the spell upon himself again. Let's see if he butts in or listens intently. He listens intently. Apparently, uh, there's a panther loose in the woods. That's not good. Ain't me. I'm in the ocean. Man, Fang, give me a medicine check because I know that is in your wheelhouse. Yeah, man. Ooh, he's quite the healer. You don't even know. This is, that's, that's really funny, but really bad. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy that. That looks like a panther bite to me. Uh, mm -hmm. Up on the ridge, Copious and Felix. Uh, there is a trail leading down. It's a little bit steep. Uh, and that moon's starting to move around on you a little bit. Uh, there is nothing in the canopy right now moving about uh, because it kind of drops off. It's almost like you're at the edge of a cliff. Uh, and this is like a J cove. So any uh, ships going in could reasonably hide from other vessels not familiar with this area. Well, Felix, I think that you are probably right when you say our ship is probably not here. Are we close enough that we can read the names of any of these ships? Of course not. Not even remotely. You are up on yeah. the ridge. Well, but the one appears to be leaving and headed southerly. Is it fly say does it have its sails raised or is it or under oar? It's under oar. How many oars are moving? Eight on one side. Hmm. And, and it, it is moving towards Dimbo Point, not south. My bad. Uh, towards Dimbo Point, but it has eight oars on one side. That's like the entire crew if it was ours. You are and correct. Do the oars look like they're coordinated? Oh, yes. That is definitely not our crew. <laughs> <laughs> this ship is at peak efficiency. I think we need to turn around and go back to uh, Leaf and Robert and Manfang and tell them what we have seen. Uh, and the two ships in the cove that are on fire, they're done for, right? They look like they're burning hard, not moving. Yeah. Yeah. By the time it, we come back, they're going to be underwater. Correct. So headed back towards Dimbo Point. Yeah, Felix, I think before we get back to Dimbo Point, we need to have our escape plan prepared. Because we're getting out of Dimbo Point? For getting out of Dimbo Point, because that other ship is heading towards Dimbo Point and it's this does not down. sound magnificent 70 at all. <laughs> <laughs> because yes, but the Magnificent Seven, I feel like it may be turtles we're facing, not Tabaxi at Dimbo I'm Point. Yeah, after seeing that total warship, they're probably looking for where their other ship got off to. And if they find a bunch of uh, ragtag people like us in it, they're not going to be happy. Uh, Leaf D12 against me. Uh, by the way, I get to anything, my intelligence and everything stays the same. So, uh, yeah, I did, can't use dark vision, though. Gotcha. 12. Uh, that's a D12, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you are not going to be molested by any other reef sharks. So that's the good news. Uh, <laughs> Bring I will, it on, baby. <laughs> I'm I will, ready for a good time. <laughs> I will allow you to choose intelligence or wisdom as you investigate this. Wisdom. <laughs> there you go. Give me your roll. With my uh, wisdom bonus? Yep. That would be a 22. Uh, this ship is in perfect harmony with eight oars and eight oars. And those yeah. babies are in rhythm. Oops. Um, you don't recall having 16 people on your ship. I know that that's not ours. I'm going to swim more to the one that's, that's on fire. Sure. Try to get a look at it. 
you're going to have to wade or uh, swim through bodies and parts of bodies and parts of debris uh, and a variety of different uh, just derelict pieces. Uh, as you get up there, it appears as though it would have been a standard merchant ship at one time. You cannot tell how many masts are there, but there appear to be a lot of dead tabaxi floating near it. What about the turtle ship? I thought there was a burning turtle ship too. There is. Uh, and around there, you see a lot of turtles down on the base. Give me another D12 against me. Two. Eh, four. Uh, oh, <laughs> I had a two. Uh, at one point in time, you find the flag of one of the ships. And of course, it looks like that. I guess we know who that is. Okay. I'll make note of that. And I'm going to head back out of the bay then. Okay. I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you as a reef shark can swim a whole lot faster than the turtles can row. Uh, so you make it back into the cove. Uh, are you going to change back into yourself? Yes. Uh, good news. Nothing is on fire. Your cart is still where you left it. And your friends have abandoned you. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go in search of, of, well, in this case, Robert Manfang. Okay, Leonard Nimoy, go in search of. Uh, uh, back to Manfang and Robert. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Wrong yeah. man. <laughs> this, is a, this, is a, this is a cougar attack, clearly. Cougars. No cougars are everywhere up in these jungles. It's true. I got my uh, I got my physician's license. Robert says, yeah, that's a cougar attack. I thought Felix says the one that had the problem with the cougars. Yes, I do. Not really a problem per se. Nothing well, I can't fix. Well, that too is burning problem. <laughs> Well, penicillin will take care of that problem. Uh, it, it is well after midnight now. Uh, Felix and Copius, uh, breakneck speed, fast speed, normal speed through the jungle. Ludicrous speed. <laughs> uh, as Big helmet. I see in the dark, so I'm going to go at a brisk pace, but I don't feel a need to run. Felix. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm not. I'm a little inebriated because I've been sipping on this flask all night, so there's no way I'm running. Keeping you warm. Uh, the good news is you've got a very distinct trail, such as it is, uh, and you head back towards Dimbo Point. Manfang, you and Robert, would you like to help carry the uh, dead egg back to... I the village it was, egg? it was egg he didn't recognize it his role was really crappy egg. robert will be able to confirm that uh from the general discussion and leaf will do a little jig on his grave we uh we'll, we'll take him back and we'll and i'll we'll tell robert again oh wait is he is his and it, um it's for an hour yeah so i'm gonna ask him again so ask them where they bury their people. That's a weird question to ask, but just so we can. Well, oh, you want to get the other half of your shell there, Bob? Yeah, man. You know I do. That's true. He could be Mario Kart in it. Uh, they <laughs> cremate the bodies. So the first time he misses a roll on a hill, you're going to have his ass roll for a mile and a half. Me? Yeah. That, that doesn't sound like me. I'm not trying uh, to plant an idea. <laughs> oh, it, it's can... already there with copious <laughs> <and> Felix. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, no, they cremate the body and throw the ashes into the water. All right. Dust to dust, we'll water do, to water. I guess we'll do that. Uh, they want you to take it back to Gatto's Bay in the shrine. All right. I'll, tr I'll put them on my shoulder and I guess walk them back over there. Uh, uh, egg's a little bit heavy. You guys are going to have to uh, hoist them like a coffin. Take a shell off of maybe a lighter. Yeah, man. Oh, yes. Defile the body in front of his townsfolk. <laughs> that is an excellent idea. I cannot tell you how diplomatic that sounds. Here, That's here's like, I'm going to skim this thing. I'm going to ladder. That, that is UN that would material be, right there. Honestly, that'd be, if, if he was playing, his dad would be doing that in the bushes. Because mm -hmm. he is a taxidermist of sorts. Well, there are 
two and two and three and Taggart. So yeah, if if we want to move back to the idea. original plan of uh, <clears throat> no witnesses, we can do that. Uh, you are going to take them to Gatos Bane, who is less than thrilled to see you. She says, Unga Boonga, Unga Boonga. Uh, Robert becomes rather incensed and begins to speak with her. Uh, Robert has to be pushed back by Taggart. Uh, and Robert tells Manfang, do you believe they want to blame this one on us? Blame this one on us? I don't know. Clearly, this is a panther bite. This is clearly a panther bite. I don't know. It could at this point, it could be anyone now because anybody with them, um, because you know, it could just be someone with a mouth for a hand, you know. So they could have had like a, a hand for a mouth and a mouth for a hand. So they could have really just grabbed in there and pulled, you know. You never know. It could have been a dog. Your diplomatic skills are increasing exponentially, I must say. I uh, Leaf, give me an investigation roll. Uh, 15. Uh, there's a uh, large gathering at Gatos Bane's place. Gatos. Looks like there's a party at Gatos place. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna head up to the oh, gate and see what's going on. As you get there, you notice several turtle are present, uh, including two of your associates, uh, and you notice that Egg is dead. Uh, go ahead and give me a medicine check. Let's see, that'd be 26. Robert says, no need, we've checked the body. He was mauled by a panther. You point out to him that no jackass, he was murdered. That is a slicing uh, uh, wound, not a claw or bite wound. Aha, uh -huh. the and plot thickens. Ro Robert looks down and he goes, oh yeah, well, you know, it was dark. <laughs> you know you play him really well eh, birds of a feather <laughs> uh so yes he he kind of uh pawns it off uh points out that man fang thought it was a panther bite but you know he, he didn't want to make him feel bad so uh yeah uh gatos bane looks at you taggart looks at you taggart looks at the wound and demands to know which two were, or which three were with Egg. Uh, a verbal assault begins. Uh, Copius and... I'll smile. Copius and Felix, you guys have uh, reached the edge of the interior cliff overlooking Dimbo Point. You see several fires uh, in the uh, Thorpe. Not unusual. Uh, you notice uh, a lot of illumination over by uh, Gato's Bane. What would you like to do? Uh, can we see out into the, the water as well? Not from this location because the, uh, let me show you here, the uh, forest region here uh, prevents your view. You are up here. <clears throat> I wasn't sure of the elevation of the forest area. So it's uh, a high tree canopy here. I, I'm going to tell Felix, I don't want to go down the path mainly because I would like to preserve some amount of my testicles. Uh, I was really hoping you got, had forgotten that <laughs> that's where <laughs> the trap was. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I want to cut back the, back towards where the work crews were because that, as far as we know, they're still out there working, right? So as far as we'll, we'll take you off that direction to go back in towards the come back into the village from the the way we originally left the village. That's my my suggestion. Yeah, sounds good. Felix and Copius, go ahead and give me a perception check. Twenty uh, two. Uh, Felix, something's moving. Copius, something is moving on the ground. And it appears to be approaching your six. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, Felix knows that knows this as well, correct? I'm, no, he just knows something's behind him. I'm, he doesn't know up or down. I'm gonna nudge him and and sort of indicate something's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> keep in mind, he's like six feet tall, and I'm like three feet tall, so it's really a strain. And so what are you nudging hard. exactly? I'm like tugging <laughs> on something. Down this way, down this way. <laughs> north, north, south, not <laughs> east, west. <laughs> can, you re- can you repeat that, please? Repeat that. Your hand is now burning. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get an itch there. You must be coming into money. <laughs> yeah. Or small mites. <laughs> I'd say get a comb, but you know, you don't have any hair, so you'll be fine. Yeah, it looks like you <laughs> found a you found a seafood buffet there, my friend. Uh, <laughs> Felix with wisdom at advantage, please. <laughs> Eighteen. Uh, yeah, you know what he's saying. Uh, there's something behind you, and apparently he knows it's on the ground. You could not pinpoint it earlier. Do you guys want to hunker down or continue? Hunker. I want to uh, summon my packed weapon and cast shadow armor on myself. <laughs> Is it translucent armor to, to give off a real cool vibe? <laughs> Initiative, boys. Yeah, no, no, no. Nat 20. <laughs> so anything less than Nat 20 is worthless, right? Pretty much. Yeah, not a Nat 20, so. Not a Nat 20 either. Okay. Uh, pouncing, odd Felix, even copious. <laughs> Six, even copious. Uh, with cat-like reflexes, a bestial creature lunges <gasps> Uh, directly at Copious. Where Panther? There Panther. Or Vlaka. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. Uh, a scimitar comes slashing through the moonlight. 16 plus 6 is 22. I assume that gets you? Yep. And I see a murder hobo. Uh, that's nine damage as it cuts right across your baby-like <laughs> flesh. Uh, this is a Kroken sailor. And he has got those mad eyes, you know, like Felix has. Gentlemen, Shoot him it's... with one of them curved arrows, Felix. <laughs> it's dark out here. I don't know what's going what's gonna to get drawn out of the quiver. It's up to you guys. It's your turn. Uh, so Felix, are you he attacked me? So are you going first? Or you want me to go first? Uh, what'd you roll for initiative? Uh, 14. <laughs> yeah, I'll go first. I had a 23. I guess I will attack. And since it attacked you, I think I can do a sneak attack, right? Correct. Uh, it's wearing a chain shirt, so its armor is going to be 18. Okay. Well, I'm going to use short swords here. Ooh, I hit it twice. These online dice aren't working for me. That's why you go old school. Yeah, it was a sneak attack that was a pain. So I hit it twice with both swords uh, for 21 damage. Very nice. Copious? Uh, I'm going to uh, attack with my sword. And I missed. Darn the luck. Uh, I I guess I should say I rolled a 12. Does that hit? No. 18 is your magic number. Yeah. Uh, Odd this time. It did not appreciate Felix's attack. Uh, 17 plus 6 is 23. I am going to try and do... I'm going to do combat superiority. So, Felix, uh, DC 14, please. You can add your dex modifier if you want. 14. On the nose, uh, the combat superiority fails. The damage you take is 5 plus 3, 8 damage. Now, can I use my uncanny dodge for that? Yes. 
So then I only receive half the damage. Correct. Uh, and it is your turn. Now, can I use the uncanny dodge uh, with the sneak attack as well? Or do those two, are they... Ex- cancel useful? out. They yeah, cancel out? They'll cancel out. Plus he's attacking you, so the sneak bonus. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. All right. Well, now I'm going to attack him back. Sure. Is he also wearing the chainmail? Still wearing the chainmail armor guy? Yep. No, I took it off so I could fight you. Well, I didn't realize if it was a different guy or not. <laughs> you know, you walk into the bar and the guy just rips his shirt off. Bring it on! That's what he did. <laughs> so I hit one of them for nine points. Sorry, Alex. That's okay. I didn't realize if it was another guy that popped out of the thing or not. Nope, just the one. Copious, a swath of blood slaps across your face as Felix does uh, insurmountable damage to the creature and it falls. You, however, glisten (laughs) with uh, the color black because blood in the moonlight is black. Uh, You look like a speckled Dalmatian at this point in time. It's beating up and coming right off. That's true because you (laughs) tortle waxed it. Tortle waxed it. (laughs) Okay. Uh, This guy looks like a sailors so you're thinking maybe it's croaking i mean i'm gonna tell felix i said i think we need to drag this guy back into the village perception check 20 al or felix seven uh felix is uh looting the body copious you hear more noises what direction? Same direction that this thing came from. I'm going to tell Felix, we need to get as fast as we can to the village. There's more of these. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm still looting the pockets here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How fast can you run there, Copious? Mr. <laughs> Knee-high? Well, that's why it really depends on you moving. Yeah. As he uh, can see and you can't. Oh, you think I'm going to yoda your ass down there? That's not happening. Help me, no you try. will. <laughs> Carry me, you must. <laughs> I think it's... Yeah, do or do uh, not. Am I finding anything in the pockets? 50 gold piece gems. Uh, okay. Pouch. I'll grab the pouch, stuff it in there, and then... Time to, time to go. You hear the crashing coming through the jungle as well. It appears as though something is coming. Uh, give me another perception check, gentlemen. And use my different dice this time. Um, the table. 16. Ooh, a, a dirty 20. Sounds of battle ensue behind you with blades being crossed and metal upon metal being attacked. You hear shouts from several different sources as it appears as though a pitched battle is somewhere behind you. All right, I'm looking at Felix going, what? That's not our guys, right? We just came from that way, right? Does that mean the Marines from the turtle ship are fighting Tabaxi that survived the other ship? You can go look. (laughs) No. Okay. I'm good. Let's go straight back to the village. I think we need to find our guys. Uh, Straight back to the village? (laughs) We're we're not on the path, right? (laughs) You are not currently on the path. The path would be straight to the village, though, if you want to do it that way. We're not cutting across the path. <laughs> let's be very clear. You meant to say, let's take a circuitous straight route back. I, what I want to say is, if I knew where our ship was, I would be telling Felix, let's go to our ship and say goodbye to Timbo Point. You guys have no idea where your ship is. Uh, uh, I looked up Pistris, by the way. Uh-huh. It Latin borrowed from the ancient Greek. Whale or sea monster. Or shark. There you go. Hmm. A sea monster? Like a mm-hmm. big, ugly yeah, That, that is an intimidating word, the Pistris. The Pistris. I thought it was like a nickname that Alex gave to one of us, you know. I think I think his nickname is Itch. The one that was <laughs> the one that was into those golden things. I can't remember what you call them. 
The Burning Pistress. Pistress. That's the name of the ship. That's it, the Burning Pistress. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to let Manfang and Robert know what I saw when I was swimming as the shark about the battle around in the bay and that it looks like the uh, Tabaxi pirate ship has been sunk, but there is a turtle warship headed this way. Is with it a full ours? Crew, apparently. <laughs> no. It is not. We need to get the other guys and get out of here. How could you? T- how could you tell it wasn't ours? Because of the neat way it was maneuvering, and all the oars were being utilized. Yeah, that's definitely not ours. No, no. It, it was the Enterprise, and she's coming full bear. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Felix and Copius avoiding the well laid trap. Did you want to light that thing yet? I didn't feel I don't like want to give away our position. Yeah. Fair enough. You guys run down into the fields and you can see Gatos Bane's shrine and personal residence. You see a large crowd holding torches around it. Uh, give me a perception to see if you spot any of your associates. <laughs> nope. 22. You see, because you have a higher vantage point, uh, hey, that looks like oh, our copious sees his turtle butt, <laughs> uh, or, or yeah, Felix yeah. butt, depending on which way he's at. Uh, maybe he's I'll looking be like, behind. Hey, Felix, move! Turtle. I can't see. <laughs> what is he? Oh, oh, the door. <laughs> north, north, south, not east, west. <laughs> this is this is not Yar's revenge, dude. <laughs> Stay on target. Yeah, Stay on gross. target. Uh, <laughs> You, you run into the area, and Felix, you spot Robert, you spot Leaf, you spot Manfang, uh, you spot Egg, rest in peace, uh, and everybody's around. Uh, do I spot Egg as well? Give me a new roll. No, I don't see Egg. <laughs> <laughs> do, do I know they're coming? I'll tell Copius what I see and then motion that we should go that way. Uh, Ma'am Fang, give me an investigation check. Uh, Leaf, if you want to. Because the whole point, I was going to do what? I was going to fall on my knees and say, how how could you have done this to us? 19. Those are the dirty bastards that killed him. That's what I was going to (laughs) do. 20. Natural 20. I am not lying to you. Man, Man Fang spots them first, followed by Leaf. What would you like to do, Man Fang? Pull on my knees and say, how could you have done this to us? <laughs> Start crying into my hand. I want a performance check. I, you know, I, I think that is a reasonable assessment. <laughs> I, I All right, fine. We'll and I will go insight on Taggart. I'm not lying to you. I got another natural 20. Taggart believes him. Uh, how are you but, throwing these guys under the bus? They they weren't around when we were here. Good point. He's got a point there. And they had the candlestick in the conservatory. Yeah, they uh, did. Copius, Felix, you rush up. Uh, the crowd looks a little angry. <laughs> Ooga booga. <laughs> I have no idea why anybody's even gathered together at this point. So I'm running up going, there's guys coming. Raiders are coming. They're in the fields. We just killed one in the field. Because I don't know what the heck they're gathered for. You, of course, look like the Dalmatian because of the blood splatter from Felix's awesome hit. This is- uh, give me a performance check versus Taggart's insight. Uh, oh, that's a charisma bus. 21. Uh, sorry, say again. <laughs> Says Taggart. <laughs> Felix and I just killed a raider that escaped us. They were in the jungle. He said his body's back there, but there's more coming. There's. We need to get the men together to move into the fields. Oh, well, very good. Very misogynistic of you. Nice touch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let them have a vote either. 
Squirrel <laughs> power. <laughs> they just need go, you know, lay the eggs and do your do your business. <laughs> uh, man, Fang, despite an incredible performance, the new information that there are raiders coming, followed by the hairless, blood splattered halfling, uh, has turned the tide from one of disgust and hatred uh, by Taggart who has not relayed the information to the other tortles yet, uh, to one of grave concern. Uh, Leaf, you hear them screaming that there are raiders coming. What would you like to do? How close am I to co Copius and... Uh, you guys are up on like a, a patio. I, so I can see man, uh, Copius and Felix coming. Mm -hmm. Is Taggart up there with us? Yes. I will turn to Taggart and tell him what I saw in the other bay with the uh, battle between the two turtle warships and that they sent the Quebec success is probably what's left of the crew. How do you know this? How do I know this? I was there. I saw it. How did you do that? Oh, I can swim like a fish when I want to. I could, I could run really fast. <laughs> so you do not tell them that you turned into a reef shark. No, I just tell him I can swim like a fish when I have to. No, you just gonna say I can run really fast, you know. No, I didn't say that, man. Yeah, no, he did say that. Don't don't listen to him. I said it. That means he did. I'm inside of his head. I, I'm his conscience. I made him say that. We. I want to point out this time again. We've already laid groundwork that Man Fang <laughs> is a diplomat, but yes. crazy. Uh, Felix, it's time for another Constitution check. Oh boy. This is when you go, Harry. Eleven. Okay, you're starting to sweat, but it's probably just fear. Everybody, give me perception check. Natural twenty. I see that his eyes have gone yellow, and he's starting to sprout fur. Twenty-two. Eight. Uh, unnatural twenty. Uh, everybody but Felix notices uh, Robert of Zeppelin. Whew. Man, I forgot to shave. <laughs> oh, boy. Felix, grab the silver. We're taking this oh. one out now. <laughs> oh. you, know, you notice that he's got like a midnight shadow going on. He's got some hair on his yeah. neck, and he's just sprouting weird hair everywhere. Is, is he up here with the uh, Go-Go Jamangi or whatever her name is? Does she see him? Gato Spain. Gato Spain. Uh, Jumanji. She does not. She rolled a three. I think so she's uh, not noticed. She is looking at uh, the deceased. I'm going to keep a close eye on Robert of Zeppelin. Man. Ah, ah. So hard. Robert's constricting. <laughs> Very constricting. Feeling yeah. a lot of pressure here. Where's uh, a bard and everyday Joe like himself? Oh, right. I need a stiff drink and a stiffer woman. That nah, didn't come out right. Uh, <laughs> I need a woman, son. <laughs> uh, where is copious Atari hands uh, bitters at when you need them? Uh, yes, Robert is the one who actually, because I rolled for all three of you guys. Uh, Felix, we all know he's got syphilis. I didn't have to roll for him. Uh, but of the three of you getting attacked by lycanthropes, Robert, sadly, and this was before he left, uh, is afflicted. Uh, so, what war is he? He wouldn't yeah. get he wouldn't get bitten because he's already infected with a virus. Does he? Does he know? He does not know yet. He's starting to become puzzled. Let's check his intelligence. Hey, Felix. Uh, I just want to point out your arrows don't do jack. Copious. Cop it's copious I didn't up there. hit him with an arrow. If Everybody is up there. I got to tell him, you know, it, it looks like he's turning, but we don't know. Let's keep an eye on him. If he starts to really go, then we'll restrain him. Turning into what? He's already an ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this ain't going to be an ass. This thing going to have claws. He goes, whoa, 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 whoa. Did I hear there's raiders coming? Yeah. Right we need to beat them so we can win. <laughs> Came out really strange. <laughs> I'm gonna look at uh, <laughs> what the hell is your name? 
got a Spain. Witchy woman. Got say, him uh, Spain. You got a place where we can maybe stick him and keep him uh, under lock and key for the rest of the night? Uh, now she notices what you're talking about uh, and suggests a silver chain. Sounds fun. Dude, well, have you got one then? No. <laughs> well, hey, thanks a lot. <laughs> right. I did. Uh, we do have a small constable area, area that we might be able to keep him in. Yeah, let's try that. Like form. But uh, I don't think he's going to listen to her. Uh, is what That's all right. I'll take care of it. <laughs> Ta Taggart, Taggart is doing uh, the translating. And, uh, you know, you're going right. to have to convince him to get into the cage. Dude, put on these ropes. That'd be really cool. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just tell Robert, Robert it, it, you know, it, it looks like you're turning. Uh, no, I'm going straight ahead. Thank you. No, no. Straight arrow. Sorry, that's, buddy. That's me. <laughs> I, I'm going to lunge. Guys, we leg. need to let's restrain him and get him into the. Into I'm going to lunge at his legs. Like cannot, actually, cannot go out. bad at all. <laughs> no, can't. But we somebody's going to get bit. That's so what's going to happen. I'm going to lunge at Robert. Hang Ford. on a minute. Go ahead and hit him. No. Oh, not a good idea. I'm going to lunge at his legs. Just grab his legs. Go ahead and hit him. Wait. Man, things started it. I know it. Seven. What do I modify with? Just Dex regular. if you're jumping at him. Oh. Eight. Uh, he steps on your head and goes, boy, I don't know what you're doing, but we got problems on the western <laughs> front. <laughs> I'm going to grab his foot and pull it away from him. I'm going to try to charm him. Okay. And, uh, after, you help after, me figure after, out how after, to do it. After he ah. charms him. It how doesn't I, matter because that was a seven. <laughs> okay. I want to charm him and, and walk him to the. Like he's an invalid? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you do this. So Come on. Come on. Let's go this way. I'll just tell him, let's see, look, you know, there's some bad people coming. We've got a place we want, want you to stay to be safe. Is it a He's... hidden location so that we can perform a ooh in... Yes, <laughs> it is. It is. So just come on with me and I'll, 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 I'll charm him and, and, and convince him to go with me and, and we'll get him in there. Manfang, Copius, and Felix, are you helping or... I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Leaf, and if it looks like he needs to bolster it, I'll cast Minor Illusion on the cell so it doesn't look like a cell. Um, it looks like a, 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 a more of a, like a, a watch station kind of thing where he would have oh. a view of the area and he can shoot spells out or you know some kind what of I nonsense. Do. Felix, I will also go with him, but I'm gonna hold or not hold, but I'm gonna be ready to grab my mermaid silver tip dagger at any moment. <laughs> and Manfang, uh, as they start to escort him yeah. off. Robert's footprint on your scar uh, is noticeably visible. So that's negative Why one charisma I'm hearing. Well, no, no damage. No damage. Uh, he just stopped you from tackling him. Do I lose any health? Nope. I was hoping you're, you're still a pretty boy. You, you just looked really classy doing that move. <laughs> it was a good yeah. idea. You just poorly executed it. All right, we'll get him in there and, and tell him to just wait here and keep an uh, eye out. Taggart we'll got us, Bane will lead you there and take you. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do another roll just to see if he believes you guys. And my rolls have dried up because that's a six. Uh, yes. <laughs> you latch it in. Uh, Copious, do you drop the illusion? Nope. I'll, as long as I, unless I fall into combat, I'll maintain the illusion as long as Felix, I can. Felix, give me that bottle you've got. He might get thirsty. Well, you can get another bad. one. The bottle of liquor? <laughs> yeah, what's left? Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave him with what's left. He's been drinking that thing the whole trip. <laughs> I'm all night. He's, he's so I'll leave what's left in there for him. Not a, you yeah, know, sure. Help, help keep him happy till he's completely turned. There's just three drops left in the bottle. And there you go. Give me a percept or a percentage, Felix. 
53. Uh, he drank a little over half of it, so uh, th- there will yeah, be enough right. to uh, have uh, Robert drink. Of course, he, of course Robert's drinking out, after him, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, as he reaches out, uh, you notice that his nails seem to be getting elongated. Hmm. Yeah, you might want to see the manicurist when you get out of there, Robert. <laughs> A clamor arises up on the ridge line, uh, and Robert issues the order to battle we go, for we must win the day. <laughs> <laughs> and he is getting uh, a lot of facial hair as the moon oh my is God. at its zero. Isn't he, what, isn't he like an orc? No. Half orc. He, yeah, he's a half, half orc. orc. Yeah, half orc. Now yeah. he's a really ugly half orc. Yeah, exactly. Very that's half gonna look orc. Right. That's not going to look right. So, uh, as it stands now, the meat shield of the group is in prison. Uh, Tabaxi and Tortles are coming down the ridge line, fighting. Fighting. You guys were supposed to get the hell out, and nobody knows where Haggis and your ship are at. Which I can still go look for. Wait, so. you, you forgot one. And there's another turtle ship full of Marines coming around the cove at any moment. Correct. So I okay. think this is yeah. an excellent time yeah. to stop. <laughs> I agree. We can just buy one of those big old like bone horns and just ha, and he'll come around the and he'll just come and we'll see him coming around the bend. Yeah, well, we want to attract their attention. That's we, what we, we want to do. Yeah. Yes, uh, Leaf is the scenario going as expected. Oh yeah, that's pretty much. <laughs> I can, my butt start tight, and up since we started this number. There you go, uh, Man Fang. Nice try. Uh, what'd you think? <laughs> I, I think I did good uh, up until like the middle, the beginning, the middle, the end, a little bit was okay. And then the failure after. I think other than... Other than that, uh, I think you performed admirably. Yeah, I think I performed amazing. And, and you get the happy, joyous job of telling your old man that he's turning into a werewolf. I or a were-rat, whatever the hell it is. Were-rat. 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 Let's be rat. Uh, copious things uh, look grim. <laughs> they do look grim. Fortunately, there's a you know, gnomes can hide in lots of places. So, I I'm trying to think of an exit strategy here, and there aren't many coming to mind. Gee, that's weird. Because in Magnificent Seven, there were a lot of exit strategies. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but they never went. That's true. Yeah, no, there were lots of exit strategies. They all just ended up in the same spot, which was dead. Well, well, just all but three of them. Was four. it four? Four. Okay. Four dead originally. Bronson died at the end. Uh, Felix? I have been waiting so long for someone to turn. <laughs> and not be you. And yeah. not be me. Cool. And you gave him There are many bottle. long days where your I was bottle with your on it, take dude. watch so that I could start pressing this mermaid dagger up against people's skin to see who does it, but we haven't <laughs> had the, uh, I haven't had the opportunity in months. Months. Man Fang, you're going to have to ask your old man uh, how exactly his strength is going to hold out when he breaks the bars and who he's going to go after first. Okay. It's going to be copious. Oh, you yeah. know it will be. There's yeah. no doubt about that. Very good. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the Margoo campaign. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. Uh, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap or chat on Discord, the link is down there. Most importantly, if you want to join us on Tuesday for the talk show or one of the one shots, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, we'll get you hooked up. Uh, just have fun for about two hours. Uh, really, that, that's all you really need. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. We will see you Tuesday for the talk show. Bye, everybody.